A number of people through the years have asked me how you go about tying a chain instead of a lead line to a cash net. I'm sure there's a lot of different methods. Uh, however, most of the cast net chain you'll see will be either a one eighth or one quarter inch unless you're making meat nets that weigh up over 20 pounds. Uh, most people prefer recreational cast netters would use something like a anywhere from an eight to a 12, 14 pound net, depending on the length. At any rate, uh, the chain has a very small link, as you can see here, and a needle is not going to fit in that link. Even a smaller needle uh, with really thin twine would have difficulty doing that. Uh, I think I've heard that some people were told that's the way you do it. You find a very small needle and partially load it and just keep reloading all the way around the net. That's fine if that's uh, something you prefer to do. I'm sure there's also other methods other than the one I'm going to show you. But what I do basically is I form a loop in the twine. I'm using a number nine bonded nylon twine attached to a monofilament panel net. Uh, I'm going to take that loop. I'm going to come through the chain link. Then I'm gonna take my needle and come back through that loop. Okay, that basically forms a half hitch and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that half hitch and flip it back to the other side of the net. I'm going to make sure that the line for my needle is on the right hand side of the loop formed And then I'm going to begin to pull up that loop to the spacing I want between links. Then I'll come back through that loop and pull down. And what I've in essence done is created a cove hitch. I'm sorry, clove hitch. C-L-O-V-E-H-I-T-C-H. Now what you do there is you come under your needle twine, you go back through the space you've created, you come through, and then you've got a loop left in your line to the right. You just simply take the point of the needle, go through that loop, pull down, and that puts another half hitch on top that will lock that in. Then you would do the same thing again. You would go to the next link that you want to tie. First, you would come through your mesh, make a loop, go through that link, come through it with your line, they can pull on this left-hand side string and pull that half hitch back through. Then like before, you wanna make sure your needle line is on the right-hand side. You've got a loop there. You pull it up the distance you need it or that you're keeping the uh, space between segments. Then just come through that loop. Pull it down tight, holding the space. Come under your string, through the space. Then just pick up this other loop with your needle, pull it down tight, and you've got a locked knot. And that's the way you do it. Thank you.